Hey everybody, this is Ravnius Vlog, and guess what? I have special news for everybody today. Well, I'm going to start, like, um, doing something new with my channel. Well, of course, I say that almost every time I make these videos. I always say, I have something new every week or something like that. Yeah, I know, you, um, hear it over and over again, so what are you going to do? <laughs> So for my new video, I'm planning on doing something different. It's going to be called Rabbit's Blogs Rant Videos 2.0. And what's the 2.0 version, you ask? Well, it's sort of like a modernized version of my original rant videos that I did years ago. And if you really, really want to watch my rant videos, well, um, I guess I could provide a link to you um, about it if, you know, I want to. Because I'm not really proud of those original rant videos, to be honest. So enough about giving you the rundown about what the um, Rant 2.0 version is all about. Let's talk about today's topic that I'm going to rant about. So today's rant video is going to be about why does Hollywood feel the need that they got to change everything of the premise from the original source material? You know, something like Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to a certain degree, um, Jim and the Holograms, uh, Transformers. So, to really explore this topic, let's give out one little example about an animated series that I actually have a clue what I'm talking about. Because, let's be honest, I was actually inspired to do this rant video because of the new Gem and the Holograms movie. Although, to be honest, I've never seen the Gem and the Holograms movie. Or the cartoon series. I know, I know, you're thinking, now, how could you not see the Gem and the Holograms cartoon series? I mean, you grew up with Thundercats, you grew up with the Transformers cartoon, you grew up with Rainbow Bright, how could you not see the 1980s cartoon of Gem and the Holograms at all? Well, just because I grew up with a lot of 1980s cartoons doesn't mean I have the opportunity to see all of them, so, yeah. So just to give you a brief insight about what I'm talking about with this topic video, let me just give you a brief little example um, about a cartoon I actually seen when I was little. Y'all remember Rainbow Bright, right? Do you remember that 1980s cartoon series about a little girl who happens to possess the power to um, bring color to the world by using her magic belt that seems to spray out rainbow colors everywhere as she happens to um, ride against uh, um, ride on a magnificent horse called Starlight and who proclaims every single time that he's the best horse in the universe and she has these um, sprite, these creatures called the sprites who work for her and the, um, who like mine like um, colors in the um, um, mine cave or something like that. And then she has to save the world from these two villains called Murky and Lurky. Sounds like a um, good premise, right? So let's say that Hollywood decided to make a movie about this um, cartoon series. Yeah, let's just imagine that for a second. So the movie is going to be about a teenage girl named Rainbow Bright who happens to be in high school and she has she's having boy troubles and she wants to get the boy, the her the boy that she really has a crush on to notice her and she's also involved in this rock band named the Rainbow Brights named after her of course and um the two villains Murky and Lurky happen to be two big bullies who um just harass um Rainbow Bright at every turn or whatever um it's called and um her horse or her pet is named Starlight. A pet dog is named Starlight. He just kind of lays around the house doing nothing all day. And then the um sprites happen to be just um like um little kids who go to kindergarten and do absolutely nothing in the entire film. So basically, we get a high school drama about a girl who's named Rainbow Bright. A high school drama about Rainbow Bright. Yeah, you see where I'm going with all this. So basically, the sort of sweet version of this is that we're basically going to have a movie that's going to be about a teenage girl who has nothing to do with the universe of Rainbow Bright because she doesn't have any magical powers. She doesn't have sprites who actually um go into the mines and mine out colors for, um, to deliver to the world. She doesn't have two villains named Murky and Lurky who try to make her life difficult um, as she tries to spread color in the world. No, we're going to get a high school series about a little girl, about a young teenage girl who has happens to um have boy troubles and her name happens to be Rainbow Bright but there's no magic in this world and there's no horse in this world there's no um colors in this world no it's just high school drama now what kind of movie is that going to be like what kind of um idea what Hollywood want to make a movie about a, a teenage girl who has nothing to do with Rainbow Bright the cartoon series at all except her name 
yeah, you might as well call the movie Rainbow Bright and Her High School Life because that's basically what the movie's going to be all about. Just about a teenage girl named Rainbow Bright who's trying to deal with life in high school. That's what it's going to be. It's not going to be a magical show that was displaying the 1980s cartoon. No, it's just going to be a high school drama that happens to have Rainbow Bright in the title. Hollywood, pay attention. If you're going to make a movie about Rainbow Bright, make sure it's based off the original 1980s cartoon and don't come up with something like Rainbow Bright in a high school life that has nothing to do with the original cartoon series whatsoever. The same thing with Jim and the Holograms. If you're going to make a cartoon about Jim and um, if you're going to make a movie about Jim and the Holograms, make sure it's a movie about the cartoon series of Jim and the Holograms. Now, I can understand if the original source material was racist, sexist, um, doesn't relate to the modern day audience, or just has a really bad plot overall, then yeah, some changes need to be made, and I can understand that. You know, I really do. But if the premise was perfect to begin with, or there was nothing to really change about the premise, why change it? Why even make something completely different from the original source material and just say, oh, it's still a Rainbow Bright movie, even though it's not about a magical world where a little girl um, uses her powers to put color into the world. It's about a teenage drama because, well, that's what we could do. So basically all I'm saying is that Hollywood just needs to draw that line between when they really need to change the premise of the story and when they need to leave the premise alone. So if Hollywood needs to um, change the original premise just to um, adjust the story, improve it a bit, add more depth to this original story, then I salute you. I um, I agree with you 100% that, you know, some changes need to be made to make a better story. There's nothing wrong with that. But if Hollywood just changed the premise just for the sake of money and not, not good storytelling, like if the new premise ends up being worse than the original premise, then you're dead to me, Hollywood. So tell me in the comments below what you think about this topic. Do you think Hollywood needs to start changing premises of the original source materials to um, improve on the source on the source material itself? Or do you think they should just leave well enough alone and just stick with the um, original premise of the original source material? Please tell me in the comments below and as an added bonus, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so I can keep you updated any new videos I post up. And also, like my Facebook page, Gravity Blog's Best Comments. And as another added bonus, please recommend me some other rant videos that you want me to talk about in the near future. It could be about movies, TV shows, comics, but not politics. Nah, nah, uh, uh No politics, no personal lies about celebrities. No, no. Those are taboo subjects for me. So just um, recommend me some rant videos that deal with movies, TV shows, and comics. Thank you very much for this. And this has been Rabbit Ears Vlog, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.